In this next topic, so let's just do a quick explainer video because I still keep getting this question on how does the Tesla 7,500 federal tax credit incentive actually work? It's really not that complicated, but there's still some sort of misinformation out there on what, how does it actually work? Is it like a tax refund or something like that? Or is it simply as it is minus off of the price of the vehicle? But it's only minus off the price of the vehicle if there's certain things that qualify. So for Model 3, just to give you a quick TLDR, it has to be under $55,000. So the Model 3 performance does not qualify if you factor in or add in any sort of the options. If you leave it base as is on the screen right here, under $55,000 as an MSRP, then yes, it actually qualifies. But the thing with this is that you have to qualify for the tax credit within income limit. So it's pretty clear on the website here of all the different income limits that are actually out there. So $300,000 for married filed couples uh, jointly, 225K for head of households, and 150K for single earners as well. And actually, here are all the income limits, or here are all the actual price caps for the vehicles. So Model Y, you're in luck. Every single model qualifies. And Model X, kind of the same story. It has to be under $80,000 as an MSRP to actually qualify. So there's really not that many options that you can add to it as well. But if you lease it, you still get the $7,500 but it's spread across the lease. But one thing to keep in mind with a Tesla lease, I haven't seen one recently, but the interest rate on a lease is going to be much higher than a finance interest rate. Finance right now is 6.39%. And of course, if you need better rates, definitely check out the links down below in the description. And if you do cash, then of course, it's the same thing. You can get that full 7,500 federal tax credit. But pretty simply, if you pay cash or finance, it's just itemized on the actual purchase and you don't have to worry about it at all. Once you self-certify that you qualify for the 7,500 federal tax rate, you actually can see it right here. Of course, they also add in gas savings, which I would not take a look at that at all because most, most places you're going to have to pay money to install your own charger and maybe in high cost of living areas, you're going to be paying high gas as well. But hopefully that sums it up. If you've got any other questions on that, just want to make a quick explainer because I'm still getting questions on that on how it actually works. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. Of course, there's benefits with this, especially if you're if you're paying cash, you just get that seven thousand five hundred off. If you're financing, that's less amount finance, which could be less interest, less down payment, which you know twenty percent less down payment on that. But unfortunately, not less state taxes. You're still going to be paying taxes on the full amount wherever you're at. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are.